Girl Jazz, and we back at it again with the banger video. Hi, right, you guys. So, if you're new to the channel, you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so y'all can get notified every time we post a new video. Go ahead and show some love and support by hitting that like button. It really helps our videos out if you enjoy our content and it helps us reach more people. And drop your comments down below. We love hearing from y'all. So, today, you guys, I am hungry. We fasted the whole morning. Let's Yo, we see. We got some burrito bowl. It's a burrito bowl. But burning. We, do, we doing fuzzies because Kat wanted to try fuzzy, so we doing fuzzies again. I got the butt burning habanero hot sauce and I also got the butt burning original. It does bring wok. It has refried beans or you can get black beans and rice and some tomatoes in here. Mm. Okay, okay. And we got the mahi bowl. Mmm, fire. Yeah, fire. Mm -hmm. Let me taste this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got the butt burning sauce. I'm gonna use it. Mmm. Fire. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all. Hopefully this place gave us nuts. Yes. You guys, we are super excited this year because we got a lot in store. We're working really hard on our goals. And we're going to actually, if you guys have are not following us on Savage Empire Gang. I'm gonna leave the description down below. Description um, of the channel link. So Savage you guys Empire channel. Yeah. Channel. We actually um, are going to be starting a series starting tomorrow. So if you guys want to know what it's about, go check us out. <laughs> it'll be. It'll pop up on the screen right here. Put the windows up in the back, man, because they can probably hear that. They're gonna hear regardless. Well, that's true. We're in the core. We're in by the highway, and these dogs are like they can't breathe. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if y'all um, run into any issues or you guys are pet owners, but we have small dogs, so our dogs are like a Chihuahua or a Terrier mix. And um, Dahlia, which is our black dog, um, she can't breathe half of the time. Like, I don't know oh, what... She's getting away. She eating her food and her sister food. Y'all, yeah. It's all right. Well, listen, y'all. As the way here was by this red light, right across the street. And this guy was like, you know, holding up a cup saying something. So I rolled down the window. I was like, I was like, what you said? You got a penny? You got uh you got some money? I was like, I don't got no money. I don't carry no cash. I don't carry no coins with me. At all. I carry credit cards and stuff like that. Right. So once he was like, You don't got a penny? Uh no. This man, let me tell you, this man looking at me like <laughs> Alright. Like, why I got a lot of you? I don't even know you. Right. And not even that, y'all. Like, okay, a penny. I'm sorry, but some change doesn't just flow in our car. You got to have change, you know? We don't pay a lot of things with cash. So, um, it's crazy because he got all these places. He's out on the street begging for money. He got, what kind of shoes he had? You said he had some nice shoes on? I don't know what kind of shoes he had on. Anyway, nice there's so many places here that... My biggest question for people that are, you know, homeless. My biggest question is, there's all these jobs hiring. You could start somewhere and then work your way up, you know? Yeah, he look very clean cut. So he don't look like somebody that started. I'm not saying he's lying that he don't got no money or whatever. I'm just saying he... I don't know his situation. I'm not going to go too deep in it because... I almost said the wrong stuff out of my mouth. But he's decent enough to get a job. You know what I'm saying? Like he, if he wanted to, he could probably get a job. Yeah, but uh. 
And it's crazy because you're begging from people on the street that we all got to pay this. Um, we're in South Florida. Hi. We got to pay stuff too. It is hot over here, y'all. This ain't no... um. You can't play around over here. Yeah. Probably anyone, but... And if you don't manage your money well down here, you go broke real quick. Real quick. So my biggest thing is like, I understand your situation. I really don't know your situation, but you know, you have all these places you could apply for a job at. My fact is, don't look at me like I'm lying. Right. All right, don't do that. Why are you looking at me like I'm lying? I don't owe you anything. Right. I'll be honest. Well, the fact that he gave me a look, like he wanted to do something, do it. But well, you can't look at somebody just because they they tell you no. If I had it, I would have gave it. I would obviously gave you the money. Exactly. If I put my window down to talk to you to ask what you said, I give people money all the time on the street. Always. When I have cash on me, I give it. Yeah. Not no big deal. What am I lie for? I don't got a penny. I think even when I was like um, younger, before I met Jazz, um, I made really good money for my age. And um, I paid for this lady's whole grocery bill. Dang, yeah, good hot. For real? Yeah. She had, I felt bad because she had a lot of kids and stuff. It, it felt like she was like scrunching for pennies. So I was like, don't worry about your bill. I got it. Damn. And I pay for her grocery bill. That's what's up. A lot of people don't do that right there. But um, you never I, know. But a lot of times, they don't even be wanting no damn food. The ones that's begging from the street, they don't even be wanting no food. Last time I offered something. No, I don't want that. He said, I don't want that. Yeah. We gave him. What? Some, we tried to give him some food. This was unopened, like sealed up. I don't want that. He well, wanted that money. You ain't getting no money then. And the thing is, I'm not going. If. Your vice, which is that poison you're putting in your body. I ain't helping you. I ain't helping you with that. If I don't do it, I ain't finna help you. I ain't finna find that. If your vice is what led you to be in that position, why would I contribute to that? To help you fail even more? I'm not that type of girl. I want people to do better. <clears throat> I want people to elevate. To be honest, if we could all elevate, I love it. Me too. That would be dope. I support everybody. I may not have time for everybody because we work and um, we have other stuff going on. I don't have time for nobody, this year. Yeah, this year, we are so hyper-focused on our goals that we really don't have time like we used to. We used to devote a lot of time to everyone. Everybody else. And it really... And I don't want to be sounding crazy on this camera, but it really didn't lead me anywhere because I, everybody that called me, I was there. Like, okay, look, and I devoted way too much time that now I'm 29 years old. And I'm like, what did I do with my time? I could be way further. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's all about us and elevating. This year, because if you work on yourself and you elevate yourself, then you when you're in a position to help every, you know, people around you, then you still have to be careful because you have to understand what kind of transactions you're having here. But um, I'm not one of those dumb people that is just gonna give, give, give because sometimes people's intentions are not genuine. You know, I wanna so. focus on my goals. I got a lot of stuff I wanna accomplish this year. I don't have time to be out spending money on spending money on pointless stuff and making other people rich. I'm trying to invest my money, do it, do everything the right way because I made a ton of dumb, dumb decisions in my lifetime. I don't even wanna do that no more. I don't wanna be up in people's faces knowing I got stuff that I need to handle on my end because at the end of the day, ain't nobody gonna help us when we die. Come on now, we came a long way, like, a long way. Sleeping in our car, like we came a long way. And I'm not finna devote my time for Tom, Dick, and Harry. Because guess what? At the end of the day, where was everybody at? Nobody. Nobody. You know Nobody was around. Yeah. I'm just saying, like in general. I ain't with it, but sometimes you do have to be a little bit selfish. You have to separate yourself. And it's not because you don't love people. Or not you like me being funny. It's like this is what it takes. Like especially if you want to better out of your life. Like, but 
for me in general, I know where I'm headed. I know where I want to be. And I know where I want to be by the end of this year, which is um, in a very ambitious goal. So I really don't have time. Like, I, I just, my time is very, you know, limited. Yeah. Mine is too. But the people that I love should understand that for many years, you know, I've been chilling with y'all. I've been spending time with y'all. Like, y'all should not be so selfish uh, to understand that we got stuff we to got do, too. too. We, we want to do stuff. Mm-hmm. So, I think the ones that really care about us understand that. And I shouldn't have to explain that, you know? Um, yeah. But... Either way, for people like that that are on the street, I don't know anybody's situation, so I'm not here to judge. I ain't judging them, but, but my thing is, don't look at me like you. I, have, I haven't been able to finish my sentence because you always jump in. One second. I'm saying I don't know anybody's situation, so I really can't, we really can't judge. I do no do that can't judge nobody you know because i don't know his situation but the thing is like if you're upset because someone can't give you a penny then that goes to show that if you have the time and dedication to spend your time on the corner begging for how however many hours you want to spend there he's up here a lot i come down this way a lot he's always there he switched it. he first he had a black hat and now he got a cup. So it's like, where no black hair you had? And for me, that states if you had the same drive and ambition for that, you have the same drive and ambition to actually get a job to get out of the situation. Yeah. I don't know. That's just my perspective. Or you got people that be like, oh, what if he can't get a job? Listen, there is actually, I used to work for um a company that was for um the huh. state and basically they help the homeless if you want help there is help there for you they even give there's a program that even gives them like a suit or whatever so that ca they can go to what? the interview yes yes and they out here playing <laughs> they're out here because it's easy for them to just be out here and beg they don't want no hard job or nothing like that. Mm mm. That's not fair. That's me. crazy. So, they have programs. I was actually a volunteer anybody. for one of them uh, programs. Because for the agency I worked at at the time, you had to have volunteer hours. So, they will make us go in the community and give back. And I did. They had suits for people, for the guys. No, I ain't know that, John. They That's had dresses. Crazy. Of course, they're hand-me-downs and things like that, but, hey. Fake it until you get the damn job. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -mm. That's wild. And the funny part is that it's all about your mindset. There's people that have been super broke sleeping on the streets and made it to be millionaires. millionaires. You'll be surprised, bro. So, it's all about your mindset. If I would have been stuck in a situation when we were sleeping in our car, and we didn't have a home at the time, if I would have been the type of individual to just give up, we would have probably still been in our car yeah. or begging somewhere. But I was like, mm, mm this ain't gonna last long. I'm gonna I'm search for what I need to search for. I'm gonna do what I need to do, and we're gonna get out of the situation. We and got, we did. We found a place in two weeks, because we slept in our car for like two weeks. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It makes you appreciate life. And we come so far. We even have our own place now. Like, when we first got our place, y'all, I was so grateful that I started crying. Like. I was just so grateful to be in a position to have my own home. And it, it's crazy because we were before that, before the pandemic occurred, we were actually on our 
way to get a home we actually were gonna purchase a home so it's like we lost it all we're you know working our way up again and it's all about your mindset you can go from broke to rich in no time but it's all about where you want to be at so mm -hmm. now it's just hard get your <laughs> head in them books and if you believe in yourself if you believe in what you're doing god will multiply that if you have faith just a mustard seed is what they say you know just the faith of a mustard seed no you told me to let you keep talking right oh my bad baby you Go see ahead. how you talk that you see why i cut you off i understand exactly you're like a run-on sentence for real damn <laughs> i was waiting on the part that hop in that mom but go ahead baby you're right do you already said what i wanted to say you already said it okay but yeah yeah so but yeah yeah here she go again I was just about to finish the uh, the video. Just finish it off. <laughs> it's 18 minutes. Just end it. Yeah, because she be telling, she be clocking me, y'all. She be saying, uh, it's too long. Because Cat will have, this will be a <laughs> damn movie if you don't stop talking. That's why I think we should come up with a podcast. I feel I like mean, I would yeah, do a great. Will, it, will it, the podcast have an ending to it or will it continue <laughs> to go? Damn, you can talk, girl. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, hope you guys enjoy spending some time with us. Ooh, I thought I had to burn first. The voice tired. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and spending some time with us. Don't forget to go ahead and comment down below. I have the hiccups. Talking too damn much. Go ahead, finish it off then. So I can rest my voice. Bye, y'all. That's how you finish? Jasmine, that's just ridiculous. I don't even want to talk no more. Just finish, finish the video. Oh my gosh. Alright, we'll see you guys next video. Bye. What? Them damn lips be moving, boy. They may be small, but don't be. End of it. <laughs>